Hi guys, Frostfang, so and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're going to be playing some Talus, the good old Taluski boy that he is. What the fuck was that intro? You know what, whatever, I'm keeping that in. Hi guys, Frostfang, so today we're playing some Talus. We're going to be using a new loadout for him that I haven't shown you guys before, at least I don't think I've shown you guys before. I've shown you this one, I'm pretty sure. I've, I think I've shown you this one before, although I honestly am not 100% sure. I'm like 90% sure I've shown you this one, because this is the one I use in ranked, and I also used in casual for a little bit. It's just antediluvian and transient as the main cards. I've stopped using Perseverance and Guts as much, although I do use this one occasionally. For standard, it's between this one and this one. This is the one I usually play in ranked if we're going against anti-heals in casual. It doesn't really matter. You can just go ahead and grab Cauterize, but in ranked, you want it straight from the start. Also, if They've got a lot of shields in casual, that way you can get quarter eyes on your Q and also Wrecker for, you know, dealing with shields. This is one that I've used, it's called Ranked No Heal, but at the same time I've used this in casual before. This is also one I've used in Ranked before, so the difference between the two of them, they both have transient level 5 to reduce the cooldown of our F from 15 to 10 seconds, because I usually pick inner strength and it makes a lot of sense, it makes us be able to use our legendary card a hell of a lot more. But the difference between the two is that this one has Evanescent level 1, this one has Evanescent level 5, so we get a 40% movement speed buff whenever we use our F, which is absolutely ridiculous. This one also has Revitalize level 3, just to help us self-heal a little bit more. And instead of having Revitalize level 3, this one has it level 1, and then it has Perseverance and Guts level 4. It basically depends on if you want speed or if you want sustain. There's the Q. Let me just make sure we actually go ahead and get my boy Talus. We're doing Onslaught Marauder's Port. Okay, not a map I think I've played Talus, or maybe I played him once on Marauder's Port? I don't know. We're using the new skin, but I'm going to be using the old weapon, just because I find the new one to be a little bit too distracting, especially for a video. I feel like this probably isn't the best map to play Talos on because it's quite hard to flank people on Marauder's Port because you really can only go left, right, or middle. There's not any, like, secret passageways or secret shortcuts you can do and most of the fights are, like, head on. We got a Makoa, we got a Grover, a Ceres, and a Cassie. Okay, we're going up against an Andro, Ruckus, Drogos, Genos, and Torvald. Any names I recognize? I recognize your lack, Spirit, and Ninu care. I played against those guys before. And maybe the Andro and maybe the Drogos? I don't know. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and go for the standard one. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the one that gives us extra speed because I probably don't need it on this map because this map's pretty damn small and we're gonna get Wrecker as freaking max level as we possibly can. So let's go Inner Strength. Very, very strong legendary card and maybe Standard. Do I want Standard or do I want Speed? You know, let's just go for Standard. I don't really need Speed all that much. Then let's get Wrecker. They have a Genos, so maybe I should get the Anti-Heals one. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and grab the Anti-Heals one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Anti-Heals one. I'm gonna just do it just because they have a Genos and I wanna be kind of annoying. We're gonna go ahead and grab the anti-heal loadout, and then in the next match, hopefully I can show you the other one. You don't usually go up against Ruckus, Torvald, and Genos, like two shielding characters and a healer, so it kind of makes sense for me to go for this one, at least for this first game. I don't know what's going on in the chat. Connor, Liza, Connor, suck. Is there even anybody with the name Connor in this game, or am I just being an idiot? I'm honestly not sure at this point. Let's just roll out. Let me hit F9 to get my ping and stuff up, and then let's just roll. I think they're probably going to be somebody going left, or are they all at the top? I think they're all at the top. Let's see if we can get a flank like this. This is what I'm going to try and do. I think there's somebody down here. Maybe. I'm gonna try and get a cheeky flank. I want to plop my F down any second. There's the F. Hello, Torvald. What the fuck are you doing all the way up there, my good sir? Hello, Genos. I'm gonna throw a punch. That didn't work. I'm gonna try and throw the punch again. That's F backwards. Okay, and let's leave. I'm doing a very bad job of flanking so far. Torvald and Genos are two very annoying people to go against as Tals. I don't feel like I can do a very good job of getting through and dealing a good amount of damage to him. I'm gonna try this one more time. We're gonna plop an F down, and then we're gonna just jump down and, like, release the pain. There we go. Hello. What's popping, Torvald? Let's just annihilate him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. F. Oh, shit. I'm nearly gone. Oh, that's a Ruckus. Don't feel like dealing with a Ruckus and a Torvald one after the other, but let's kill Andro, maybe? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Out of ammo. Give me one second. I'm out of ammo. Can we kill him? There we go. Got him. Can we kill you as well? Holy shit, this play might work. This play might work. I'm gonna F and teleport back to it, or not, because I'm too slow. It's like, it's too early for me to deal with this shit, to be honest. It, it's too early right now for me to deal with all of this bullcrap of everybody playing, like, absolutely mental. Let's pop our F down. Let's kill this Torvald. Here we go. Let's get a free kill on him. We're gonna apply anti-heals, but also get rid of his shield, because we have some good amount of wreck going on. I'm gonna teleport back. Oh my god. What did I teleport back into? Was he Andrew just spamming his punch onto my thing? I think he might have been. Or was he trying to kill the, the Grover? He was trying to kill the Grover and I just happened to be in between him and the Grover. Okay. I'm literally leaving for my trip like tomorrow morning or technically later today. So I, I am gonna be a little bit all over the place because I'm trying to get as much covered as I can before I head off. Should we go for an ult? Let's go for an ult. Sure. Who are we going on? You. You're pretty low health. Sure. Combo the punch. That didn't work. He just flew away from me. Andro, what the fuck kind of play is that? Double kill? Thank you very much. Let's pop that down. Get some pain onto you. Oh, we're going to teleport back just because I, I don't really feel like going in. There we go. Okay, I changed my mind. We're going to go in for him. Let's get free kill. Thank you.
Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the unofficial dribble. Yeah, I'm recording this literally like a couple hours before I head off for the trip. I haven't packed anything yet because I'm a complete professional. I'm trying to get as many videos recorded as I can before I head off so I have stuff for you guys to watch whilst I'm away. That's the plan, okay? I'm trying to be good guy Frostfangs over here and it's kind of working but also kind of not because I'm playing pretty sub-average right now. I don't feel like I'm doing very well, although this is a free kill on Andrew. I don't know if he's a bot or not. Didn't have the animation that his queue had popped up. Fantastic. There was no animation on my side for him bringing up his queue. I hate that. That happens way too often. There are so many bugs in Paladins right now in 1.6. That was one thing that definitely uh, like added to the frustration on that season one of Road to Grandmasters was just having people like completely glitch out and just do shit that they're not meant to do when I'm playing a ranked game is very, very unfun. I'm a teleport back so that I don't die. There's so much delay on that. I've got 75 ping. Why is there delay? Hello, what's popping? How did he even get up here? Wasn't he on the floor? Has he got the legendary card that lets him hop around? If he does, that's kind of funny. He does as well. He has aerial assault. That actually makes sense for this map so he can get like from the different levels from the bottom or the top if he needs to. That's a Makoa getting completely ruined by a drug. Are we going to ult him or are we just going to go straight fight him? Let's go straight fight him. This should be a free kill, right? There we go. Tracing is pretty bad, but we still got him trying to place the F down when I'm just too slow. Don't know what Cassie's doing. I, I can't wait to see the stats because I feel like there's been people in this game that have not really been even existence. So that'll be kind of funny to see. I didn't even see any of the effects for that. Hold up. Can, can I get a replay? Was he just waiting there? Oh, he was playing in third person so he could see around the corner, right? I didn't even see any of the effects. That was a bit of a bitchy play from where Drogo goes. I don't particularly care because this is a, a casual game, but wh why was he playing in third person? I don't even know why third person is a thing in Paladins. Nobody really asked for it. Let's just kill you. Let's just suck a fat one, my guy. Can I not die to that Drogo's maybe? Is he even fighting me? I don't even know where that Drogo's is. I have no sense of awareness right now. Hello, Torvald. He's dead. He's dead. Yay, we got him. Okay, cool down on my F. Can you just reset real quick so I can go ahead and engage again? Sure, pop an F down. Let's try and do another fight. I've got my F up the top. Let's go ahead and be aggressive, see if this works out. Hello, what's popping? We're going to punch in. This is going to work. This is actually going to work. Oh my god, I nearly lost that fight. I didn't even hit F there. That auto teleported me back. I can't win a fight against the Drogos. I'm not seeing any of the effects for his bullets. Am I just blind or is it genuinely not showing me the effects? Like, I did not see all of the green explosions there at all. I think I might just be like not seeing it, but for some reason, I, I don't feel like I was even showing them just there. That's Talus just going in for a punch on the Genos. Another very weird match, if I'm being honest. I didn't see any of the effects from the Drogos. I don't feel like I really had much of a team. Then again, I was playing a flanker. So this is the top play. He could see me leaving my spawn. Like, it's not like they have a reveal mechanic, so I shouldn't have been revealed to him. I think he's just playing in third person, which I still don't understand why that's a thing. I don't know anybody who plays in third person unless they're using it to peek around a corner, so I don't know why it's a thing. It's even banned in ranked, so why is it in, like, normal, normal games? I don't get it. It's kind of funny that it just gave me the title, the salty. I'm not salty, I promise. I'm not salty, I'm just confused. So I went 11 to 10 with one assist. I had 47,000 damage, which, which is top on my team by, like, double, pretty much. We had a Cassie who had 17k. Big yikes. We had a Grover who did pretty bad healing and better damage than our Cassie. We had a Makoa who had pretty good damage. We had a Ceres who was trying to do heals. Their Drogos had a free game. Their Ruckus played okay. Their Andro played okay. I guess the only person that played well, I'd say, is Drogos, who was pretty annoying to go against. Damn, eight minute queue, but okay, sure. TDM Snowfall Junction. This gives me the chance to show you the other version of the loadout with the speed buff. Looks like we're gonna have a Victor, Cassie, and Tyra, and Pip, because, you know, who needs proper healers or tanks when you can have three damages? <laughs> We're going up against a Victor, Andro, Zin, a Dredge, and a Pip. Holy shit, this is actually perfectly balanced, like everything should be. There's a Pip on each side, and there's a Dredge on their side. We also have a Damage. They have an Andro. We have me, I, I guess, as Talus, and they have Victor, Victor, Zin, Cassie. So it's nearly the exact same, to be honest. Yeah, they have two damage, two flank. We have three damage, one flank, and then a Pip. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go Inner Strength, and let's go for the Evanescent Loader, I guess is what I should call it. What do we want to get? I guess I want to get Haven, just because they have a lot of direct hit characters. Let's just pop our little F there and then let's just go in. What's popping, Pip? Oh, I'm going to die any second. Okay, free punch kill. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and wait to regen some health until we go in again. Got another assist. Nice. That was a very weird Tyra firebomb. You know what? You do you. Victor's kind of low. Who else is up there? I don't know. Let's pop our F down and let's go help with this Andro and the Zin. Hello. I missed the punch. Missed the punch. Gonna teleport back. Oh, shit. We do have a lot of movement speed, but I'm just not that great of a Talus when it's this early in the morning, so I'm kind of bound to just be kind of sucky. That's a free kill. If I can, like, trace you properly, which I can't because I'm trash. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Not today, Zin. No, no, no. Oh, my God, really? You're just going to walk around the corner and shoot me twice to kill me? It's a bullshit play. I I'm not going to be able to trace people all that well on my second game of Paladins, but that's perfectly fine. Hello, Victor. Sure, double punch combo. That didn't land because he went up against a wall. Okay, we are so fast. Holy shit. That's just ridiculous. Okay, Pip. Oh, I really wish I knew that was coming because then I would have been playing a little bit differently. Free kill on Pip. Free kill on Pip, please. Free kill on Pip. He's on a 10 streak. Oh, that heal. That heal sucks. I'm, I'm very much dead. I don't know if it's just 
just me, but like the last couple games I've played, I really feel like I'm playing with some form of delay. I don't think I am, but like sometimes it just feels like my shots aren't landing. What what was that? What See, see what I mean? That just describes perfectly how I feel. I, I feel like a lot of the time stuff happens and I can't explain why stuff happens. We've lost this match by like triple the points. They literally have 40 and we have 15. I feel like I had like seven. If I have half of my team's kills, I'm going to be rather disappointed. Andro went ahead and got top play. The thing I was trying to say before I just kept interrupting myself and, and making cuts and stuff is that I feel like Paladins has a, a lot of bugs and that's kind of annoying because I, I feel like at this point people play Paladins knowing that it has bugs and kind of just accept it. I feel like if, I feel like if the things that are wrong with Paladins were wrong in like a different game I feel like people would either like stop playing it or would complain a lot more and I feel like since Paladins was in alpha and in beta for so long even though now it's an officially released game it's fully released according to them uh, it still has pretty much all the same bugs it had in beta it's like Terminus currently I I would say is practically unplayable in a lot of scenarios just because of the amount of bugs he has. Like, Terminus is a decent pick, but in ranked, I don't feel like he's reliable because his F bugs nearly all the time, his Q bugs a lot of the time, his alt bugs a lot of the time, and his basic attacks bug. The only thing that doesn't bug on Terminus is firing out his little blasts, as far as I know. I don't know. I don't really have anything else to add to the conversation because I feel like I've said all of the things that I can say. I've said them before, so I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and maybe have a conversation about it on this video, even though this video is about Talos and everything. I feel like it would be good to open a bit of a conversation about it because I feel like there's so many things wrong with Paladins and there has been for quite a while that people kind of just accept it and they're like oh this is broken. Okay I'll not play this. Obviously they're trying to fix everything and I don't have any real idea of how game development works so I'm not really in much of a position to talk about it. The only position I can talk about it from is in the position of somebody who's been playing the game for like two and a half years. I've been playing Paladins. I think the first time I uploaded a video was two and a half years ago and I'd been playing it for a little while before that so I've, I've honestly been playing this game for quite a long while and I was quite honestly hoping that when they said it was going to be fully released that they'd have fixed a lot of the stuff but they haven't really treated it any differently than they did in in beta and that's a little bit disappointing. The, the one that gets to me is just like the Terminus one because he's had it for so long and there are other characters that have had issues for so long that were fixed eventually that's cool but Terminus has kind of had that ever since he came out. Kind of the same with matchmaking a lot of the time I feel a little bit disappointed in matchmaking like both of the games I've had today I feel like were just completely unmatched because of the fact that we had a team that really was a little bit clueless. Our victim went 1 to 14. Uh, how? How does that happen? Pip was okay. Uh, Cassie went 2 to 7. Uh, Tyra was pretty good, I guess. Their Zin was okay. Their Pip was okay. Andro was okay. Their Victor was okay. And Dredge was okay. I, I guess that game was match made okay. Was match made okay. I don't really know what the right word would be. But I definitely felt a lot of these troubles a lot more in ranked. Like, I can easily just not care when I'm playing casual games because it, it's not a big deal. But when I was playing ranked, matchmaking was really, really frustrating sometimes because there were people I was matched with because there were people I was matched with when I was doing the whole Road to Grandmasters stuff. I had like 270 like tribute points and I was matched with people that were that were gold and it, it doesn't really make sense. I've been against pro people on the enemy team, like literally professional players and on the same team there is somebody who has like not really ever played that character before. Maybe it's just because there aren't like a crazy amount of people playing Paladins, like it, it doesn't have like a ridiculous game population but there are, there are just a lot of problems that I really wish weren't there. Matchmaking is a bit of a problem but it isn't the worst like it like I can deal with like weird matchmaking occasionally sometimes you get bad games sometimes you get good games that happens with pretty much any online match but a lot of the time it feels like the matchmaking just doesn't know what to do with people in my opinion the solution to the problem would be a massive patch like 1.7 or 1.8 or 1.9 or 2.0 like call it paladins v2 and just get rid of like all the bugs that would be fucking fantastic because I think everybody who plays paladins regularly would happily have a patch and like I think 2.0 would make the most sense where where there's where it's just a patch that is bug fixes, like literally just bug fixes, maybe a skin or two. As far as I know, I, I don't really need more characters. I kind of just want the characters we have to work first. I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. That's the whole reason why I've been talking about it. It's just because I want to hear what you guys have to say. I don't really know what the solution really is because, like I said, not a game developer. I'm sure they're doing the best they can. But there was a post somebody sent me the other day. Somebody, I think, sent it to me on Twitter and it was a post on Reddit of, let's have the game developers stream a whole day of playing like the worst, most broken characters in Paladins. And I honestly would love to see the people who are behind Paladins play Moji for a whole day and just see how fun that is. Because Moji right now is incredibly underpowered and I, I don't think I've seen Moji played in a very long time. I'll have them just play Terminus for like a whole day and see how fun that is because half of your abilities wouldn't go off. I don't really know how to end the video now, but I hope you guys know that I, I mean all of this with like the best intentions possible. I've been playing this game for two and a half years plus and I would love to continue playing it in the future. But there's just so many things that get on my nerves that I, I wish 
just didn't get on my nerves. I'm mostly saying this from my heart because I genuinely do love this game and I genuinely love playing Paladins. I have for a very long time. I've been making videos on it for like a year plus at least. Like regularly is like the main game on my channel and I have a bunch of people that watch me, you guys. So, so I thought I might as well talk to you guys directly and maybe anybody who is at high res that might like come across some of the stuff I say. Although I think everything I've said in today's video has been said before. I don't think I've said anything new, but I, I just thought I'd, I'd talk about it, I guess, a little bit. This has been Talus and also a bit of a weird conversation about, I guess, the state of Paladins, which is something that I didn't expect to touch on. I will, of course, be away when this video goes up, but I hope to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. I will still be in there. This has been Talus with two different loadouts and my favorite legendary card for him. Thank you for watching. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I don't know how I'm going to cut this to make it make sense, but I'll see you all very, very soon. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And as always, stay frosty.